There is one person tonight who needs to be thanked especially, and that is Dr. Dorothy Hindman, my composition teacher. Again, there are no words to describe uh, how grateful I am to have Dorothy Hindman in my life. She not only helped me grow as a composer, but as a human being. She was a teacher. She is a teacher. <laughs> she is my friend, um, and she's taken very good care of me these past two years. I do not know where I would be right now were it not for Dr. Hindman. Um, again, there are no words. I could go on all night. But as Hans Christian Andersen once said, where words fail, music speaks. <laughs> so I actually have an impromptu song tonight for Dr. Hindman. It's called The Ballad of Dottie Hindman, also known as A Ditty for Dottie. <laughs> so this is for Dr. Hindman. Oh, crap. I need a pianist. Not to worry. Just earlier this week, I downloaded a new app called Slave Pianist. It's like Tinder, but like for pianists. Hang on a sec. Who's available tonight? Nathan Paternoster. Damn. Awesome. Nate! <laughs> Listen, Nate, I need you to help play a song with me real quick. You're in guess It's all right. Don't worry about it. Listen. It's real easy. It's in the key of G, just like everything else I write. And, uh, you know, just like follow me and stuff, you know. No, I know. Card games is later. Don't worry about it. He's so cute. You ready? All right. I love pianists. The Ballad of Dottie Hindman. When I came to U.M. I just knew Dr. Cam. Dr. Mason was brand spanking new. McCloskey was on sabbatical, and for Stinson I was fanatical. But everything changed when Gower's plans rearranged, and they brought in Mason's wife. Yes, Dr. Dorothy Hyman came and kicked our asses with her super awesome composition master classes. Dottie, you're the best. There was this one time with Dr. Hyman in a lesson where I had been selected as a finalist for the Chanticleer Lab Choir competition, but I forgot to tell her for two weeks. So two weeks later, I was like, oh, hey, listen, by the way, I, I've been selected as like a finalist for this thing, uh, the Chanticleer Lab Choir competition in uh, something, something San Francisco. She was like, what? Why didn't you tell me? Spencer, this is a huge deal. And she like, it's like, oh my God, we need to email all the faculty. We need to, uh, we need to email the Dean Burr. We got to get you to San Francisco. She whips around and she starts getting on the computer and, and, and emailing everyone in the department. I'm just sitting at the desk going like, oh, wow, I don't even remember like applying for this thing. <laughs> and she's mumbling to herself, and I hear her go, <laughs> I am so getting tenure for this. <laughs> when came junior year, I was consumed by fear. What kind of composer was I? I was writing a lot of classical stuff, but none of it seemed to be enough. But Dottie was there with her motherly care, and she fixed my self-esteem. Yes, she was just as helpful and as kind as she seems. And after every lesson, we will look and laugh at internet memes. Dottie, you're the best. My favorite Dr. Heinemann story. She comes in sick. She goes, Spencer, I <laughs> I'm really not feeling well, and I just want you to know that when I'm sick, my language is terrible. <laughs> and she went to grab something off her desk, but right as she did so, she knocked over a huge pile of CDs, and they fell off the desk and collapsed on the ground and with this huge crash, and she goes, son of a mother, no good piece of... Of course, I was, I was shitting my pants. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> uh, and she looks at me, and she goes, don't tell anyone I said that. You may think I'm a bard, but writing music is hard. There were times where I almost gave up, but Dottie told me she believed in me. That's the first time a professor 
said that to me. It's just what you'd think. She's my mom, friend, and shrink. Tough as nails, but always right. She said, you'll accomplish anything you set your mind to. I said, thanks a lot, Dottie. By the way, I got accepted to NYU. Woo! Thanks, Dottie.